to add to what uh, last speaker talked about, I must say we have a new police chief and I have an open mind for the new police chief to give him a chance. I must say that putting this through in a consent item, sir, is a very bad start to your police chief stewardship. It really you can address is. your comments to us, Mr. Levinson. Well, I, and it's a very bad start for this council that allowed it to go as a consent item. Consent items are supposed to be things that are just automatic and simple administrative thing. That's the definition of consent items. 160 assault rifles with no indication, no pre presentation why they're needed. To me, the only people in the police department need, need, need that type of weaponry if at all is this is the SWAT team. How many people we have in the SWAT team? 10, 12, 16, this is 160. How many police officers do we have on the street? I don't even think we have 160 police officers on the street. Why do we, we're gonna give them to the firemen maybe, maybe to other first responders? Why do we need 160? Where's the support? Is this the best way to spend our money? Where's the justification? It really is, this city and this council really, again, I wish you guys would be better, but you're not. And you just seem to just go along to get along. And staff says something and you just jump and dance. Like you have strings attached. But this is a serious issue. 160 assault weapons when there's 100, at least 160 or more, according to the last speaker, they're out there already. What are they gonna, where, why are they not good? Why do we need 160? Again, I don't even think we have 160 police officers out in the street. Why do we need that many people? Where's the justification, Police Chief Hendricks? Where is it? No. Thanks. Uh, would you Thank please you. address the council? Thank you. And I would wish once in a blue moon you'd address the people that speak to you, sir, but that's another question. Mm. Joe and Brianna, addressing the militarization of law enforcement. That's what this is. The Second Amendment was given to the people of the United States for the security of a free state. If you go to any junior high textbook in the Fullerton School District, you'll find that the reason we have a right to bear arms is to protect ourselves from the government. That's in the textbooks. Now, why are we militarizing law enforcement? Well, I'm a person that really likes to bring up agendas. That's kind of my catchphrase with everything, because everything is an agenda. And everything comes top down, and everyone has a price. Even all of you have a price. Obviously, there's a reason why we are militarizing law enforcement. There are a lot of things I'm not going to go into at this microphone tonight, but on the Fullerton Informer, you can find plenty of them. And I'll go into a lot of detail, because I'm going to go into a lot of detail on what happened in Vegas. The fact of the matter is, the reason we need AR-15s with 30-round clips with 223 ammunition with killer scopes on them that can see anything at night is not for typical police purposes. It's for when things get really bad and when things finally end up having the screws put to the citizens and when the government turns on the people. The militarization of law enforcement is just that. Posse comitatus went out the window years ago. There's really, they've really blurred the lines between military and police. We're referred to as civilians now instead of citizens. There's a gold tassel around that flag for a reason because in a court of law with that thing hanging, we're presumed guilty until we're proven innocent instead of the other way around. That's why we go to jail before we have a trial. I don't think many of you here tonight understand what you're involved in. Maybe you do. Maybe you are that corrupt. I don't know. But ignorance at this point would probably be a good excuse, and ignorance is a good way out of this. We don't have a police department that committed a murder on television in front of the whole world, a bunch of machine guns, when the average citizen doesn't even understand it's happening tonight because you've stuck it on the consent calendar, and it's like 9.30, and everybody's in bed from the ball game and their dinner. It's pretty scary. The, the, the leading cause of death in the 20th century was democide, ladies and gentlemen. It's death by government. Governments murdered 250 million of their own people in the last 100 years. That's a fact. The United States has been a safe place because there's a balance of power and a guarantee of mutually assured destruction between the people and the government. 
And I urge everyone in Fort to buy as many guns and as, many, as much ammunition as they can possibly afford. Thank you.